take a couple steps back. Well, this is unprecedented. Uh, you can't look back and say, what did we do when this happened before? It did not happen before. And uh, what happens in these situations, there, there are unknowns, uncertainties, and people have to make decisions based on, on that and then keep open, open-minded about what transpires. You know, this could be more long-term than we even uh, can we even imagine. At 22 and 4 and 12 and 3 in the league, Duke is still very much in the thick of the ACC race. And with just five games to go in the regular season, there's no time like the present to embark on a new chapter tonight in Cameron. Jones left side three, and that's a good start. Stanley right corner three. Oh, they came out firing. One dribble. With the left hand. Goldwire on the drive, put it up, counted, and a chance for three. Hurt deflected it and took it away. Down the lane, scoop it up, give it to him, and a chance for three. Around to the right of O'Connell, O'Connell, a baseline drive. Oh! On a wreck attack! Jones cut it off, and now it's tipped out and stolen by O'Connell. Hit it in the chunky town. Stanley wants a three. Give it to him. by Robinson, a two lob to Robinson to rock the rim. And listen to this crowd, dominant from start to finish. Big home dub. The Blue Devils roll to their 23rd win of the season. Hey, yo, what's up guys? <laughs> we don't even need an intro, we don't even intro, we don't need an intro, we know what to do. As I'm talking right now, you're gonna roll the highlights of him just being Superman. Fuka Superman, oh you were just dominant. You were just dominant. Talk to me about you. You know, just what you were thinking coming into the game. Um, I mean, I knew I had a chance to get in once we got uh, got off to such a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was just getting ready mentally. And then, you know, I always go after you um, practice. Yeah, yeah. You know, I try to, and so yeah, I try to. <laughs> I try to. <laughs> but but what what is this mindset that comes into it? Every time someone's challenging you, you know, you just always deny them. Talk to me about that. Do you just like feel insulted that people still try you? A little bit, yes. Yeah, you gotta yeah. take it personally. Uh -huh. uh, I just think blocking shots, or probably dunking, is probably yeah, yeah, my yeah. favorite thing in the game. I love that. So, yeah. Man, hurt. My boy over here. My boy had what? 16 and 10, or 16 and 12? 16 and 10, double double. You know, coming in here. Uh, you know, just talk to me, man. Talk to me. What's going on? I see you're not. I see you're not shaving. So, what's up with this no shave look? Is this like your new thing? Uh, yeah. You know, I'm trying to grow up till we uh, till we lose again. So, are you trying to be like me? I'm trying to be like you. you. You like the facial hair, right? Yep, LA vibes, man. So yeah, talk to me. I mean, you were just doing everything. It seemed like everything. It seems like you're doing the dirty work now. You're the dirtiest working player on the team. Uh, uh, I just try to work hard every day in practice, and uh, tonight the ball is coming my way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you heard it here first. I mean, I'm here with Fuku, uh, J. Rob, <laughs> and I'm here with dirtiest worker in the country. <laughs> Gang, we signing out. You know, Duke Blue Planet. Another day, another dollar. Oh. Duke Blue Planet. My name's Wendell. Uh, oh, say, can you see? I love Trey Jones and Cassius Stanley. They're my favorite players in the whole wide world. Oh my gosh. A return to Coach K Court may be just what the doctor ordered after three road losses in the last two weeks. They're now back in more familiar surroundings looking for a more familiar result as off we go from camera. We got London on the track. You mad? You're adrenaline rushing and feel like a bus, but I'm with the rig. Got my head to the, the ceiling. Hurt. Hurt on the drive into the, 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 the paint, banked it up, counted, and a chance for three. Get down on Beverly, back down for Goldwire. Left side three. Good. Robinson, a wide open three. Any answers? Jones at three, and they're starting to heat up from outside. Underneath four, and the Tate goes up, no. Robinson rocks the rim on the putback. Four inch 
Look transition him, all the way down the lane. Now the pass for Jones. Three on three. Lob it to Stanley. Lobs it to Scarlett! Oh! Punch it down for two! Get the respirators out for the crazies. It's an 11 point lead. They are going crazy. There are even people upstairs that are sitting down now after those two dunks by Captain Stanley. One on one with Bates behind the back pass. Now Stanley the lead in. A winner tonight over NC State. Superstar. Just did you notice that added energy from the crazies when you do score? It definitely seems like the place like, nice and tough. And what's, yeah. that, what's that like for you? Uh, I love the crazies. They're so fun. Uh, they always do give a little extra energy for me. I notice that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's always fun. So, Jerry, uh, what, what got into the game tonight? Actually, I can't even answer. <laughs> They didn't know they about it. We knew about it. I knew about it because we play in practice with them every day. But obviously the people are surprised because they're just now seeing this. But I've seen it every day. And Unleash J-Rob. Honestly, Unleash him. Just all they're doing. You know what they're doing right now? Sleep. They're sleeping on J-Rob. That's all we can say is they're sleeping. You guys are forgetting the Fuqua Rob. The Fuqua Rob. grad student too. Man. Yeah, that dude world. is 27 years old. And he's still playing he college basketball. He's not 27. He's like 65. He's still he's the old. goat. He's an old man. He still got it. Just saying, if, if you were surprised by what J Rob did tonight, then don't be surprised ever again. <laughs> don't be surprised. Do you get a little, just a little different feeling when March gets here? Yes, always. March first, you wake up, is is different. You come to practice, everyone's visibly much more excited uh yeah it's, it's such a great time of year it's what you want to be you know crazy four years time's flown by uh with my guys here and you know we're just you know sitting here and gonna walk through with uh you guys some of our favorite memories you know from our time here because uh, there are a lot of them you know we appreciate everything that you guys have done and we really appreciate our time here at duke university gonna gonna miss this place uh, it's crazy uh, how fast time is going, and that it's our last time here playing in Cameron Indoor. You know, just some old men now. Uh, just kind of <laughs> reminisce about uh, some of our memories. So uh, this was. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Jack here, uh, my roommate. We've been roommates, you know, for three years, and you know, best friends before. Uh, and just gonna ask him what was going on in his head and why these are some of his favorite memories. All right, Jack. What's, what's, what's going on here? The start of our senior year, pretty crazy that, you know, we're already here now and looking back, you know, it's just crazy how fast this whole year's gone by and, you know, I'm just looking at, you know, me, you and Trey and um, obviously as captains now we've got the big fella on board as well. Um, need to Photoshop you in there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I know, you know, it's just really genuine, you know, we're all happy. I'm sure Reagan or whoever was behind the camera, you know, said something funny to, to make us laugh. but. I mean, that just thinks me, makes me think of, you know, all the amazing support staff around the, around the program and, um, you know, just the, just the great people you get to meet and interact with every day that are part of this, this team and this program. Just thinking about, you know, how fast this year is just going by, let alone the four years, so it's definitely cool. Up next, uh, what I remember, this is, we're playing Texas Tech, I believe, in the Garden. Uh, this is, you know, end of the game and you made some, you know, huge plays for us, especially on the defensive end, blocking shots, grabbing rebounds, you know, to help us beat, you know, a really good team that ended up making it to the Final Four. Uh, walk, walk us through that, what's going on in your head right now? you got a pretty vicious expression. I mean, yeah, you know, I was just trying to, you know, live in the moment and, um, you know, all I was thinking about at that time was just trying to do whatever I could to help us win. And I mean, you know, I'm surrounded by, you know, uh, Trey Zion and RJ and, um, you know, it makes me think about all the different freshmen and, you know, the waves of guys that we've had the honor of playing with throughout the years. And obviously MSG, you know, there's, you know, apart from Cameron, you know, there's not much of a better place to, to play basketball. You know, you always dream of playing in those places and those big time environments. And, um, you know, showing a bit of emotion and passion there is, 
reflective of a lot of the, you know, the moments that a lot of us have shared together. Um, you know, we're going into games, you know, trying to fight and win, and you know, those moments that you really cherish when, you know, guys step up and make different plays, and you know, it's just seeing, it's cool seeing guys in those moments. Let's close it all off. Uh, we got you here, uh, coaches, coaches telling you something. You're listening to the go. Uh, and just talk, talk about what this means to you. I mean, I obviously can't remember what he was telling me. Hopefully, it was something good, but. <laughs> Um, Yo! <laughs> Yo! But, uh, I mean, no, he's been, you know, obviously incredible, incredibly important for, you know, I'm sure I can speak on behalf of everyone sitting down right here, not just for my time, but, you know, everyone's experience here at, here at Duke. Um, you know, just seeing him work every day and his dedication, you know, even after, you know, he's 73 years old and, you know, he doesn't feel like he's slowing down at all. Um, you know, it's just been amazing to learn from him every day and, um, you know, I still remember the first conversation I had with him. I couldn't have been more nervous over the phone. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's been a roller coaster and, you know, as well, you know, a really cool thing is, you know, we're wearing the nice little new uniforms um, and it's been cool for us, like this year, you know, being able to debut some new uniforms, you know, the Brotherhood uniforms, these ones, um, the ones we wore at UNC, just makes me reflect on, you know, how fortunate we've been to be here at this time and, you know, see, you know, coach do his thing and obviously be a part of successful groups and different groups. But yeah, just trying to take it all in and be appreciative of you know, everything we've been able to experience over our time here and it's just been awesome. All right, so now I've got a nice little selection of, you know, photos that J-Rob's selected from over his Five years, um, five years here, nice grad student, old man. Um, but you know, first one is, you know, right at the beginning for J-Rob, his freshman year. You know, a bunch of the boys in the locker room. What does this one make you think of, J? Well, the first thing it makes me look, think of is how sweaty we are and, and just how much of a wake up call coming here <laughs> at first is. <laughs> Y'all both know how it is. You come here, yeah. it's a whole nother level of workouts, the conditioning, the intensity in basketball getting yelled at and so that makes me think of like the summer workouts and how hard they were but then and how much I struggled my freshman year but it also makes me Being think there. of how much fun we have in the in the locker room because that's obviously a very goofy picture we were a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of kids back then we had all, all, a lot of freshmen in that picture and just yeah we had a lot of fun we were we were a close team every year I feel like I've got such good friends on the team so that's what that makes me think of. Now this one right here, I believe, is from Countdown mm -hmm. for your senior this year? year. This year, I think that's this year. Is yeah, you, you got the hand, hand tape, oh, yeah. <laughs> the, signa <laughs> the signature <laughs> hand tape. Yeah, not my favorite, but no. But that, I mean, it's the last countdown. It was incredible. The crazies were wild. I think I had like "Don't Stop Believing" playing for that one. Great song. And that was very yeah. It was fun. I had everybody singing along with me. Yeah, it was a good time. I think we got the win too in, the, in that countdown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this one, this is uh, big yes. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is big time. j Roll, give us some context here, mate. So that was, I guess, when, right when they had told me uh, that I got on scholarship. And so that was a very exciting time for me personally, which y'all y'all got me there. I was not expecting this. <laughs> I was meeting with Coach actually about it and he was tell, talking me through it and uh, signing the paper and then I walked back into the locker room and they had me with all the whipped cream and the water <laughs> and I'll give you guys it was a mess. Look. It was a mess. You can see they were very into it. Javis oh, face. So happy. They were very into this. They wanted to get me. <laughs> they they showed no mercy. The worst part was <laughs> we had a workout right after that. <laughs> we had a conditioning workout right after. So I was just covered in whipped cream and stuff. I had to shower and then go work out. <laughs> just look at G, bro. G. Look at Grayson in the back with his glasses on there. That was hilarious. But I mean, once again, just the fun times we had in the locker room and just, yeah, how close we are, how much fun we have together. That's a fun one. And there we have it. Then, yeah, that was good memories. Rob's memories, man. Good memories. Been a, been a heck of a time here. All right, so now we're gonna go through a little bit of Jav's memories. And so, Jav, they gave you about 30 pictures to choose from. We chose, I think, six or seven. And so, yeah, just take me through, uh, basically, yeah, what you were feeling, what you, what you remember from these times. So we're gonna start off here with uh, a nice little mean mug. Classic Jav face. You got Jack in there with you. 
What's going through your head there? The fact that it's, you know, a classic face. It's not even something I really do intentionally. It just kind of happens. Just getting caught up in the game. I don't know, maybe I got an and one or something like that. And just uh, the show of emotion, you know, that's something that's really big in my program, you know, be, being emotional, playing together. And so uh, I chose that one just because, uh, you know, it's representative of, uh, you know, all those times fighting out there with you guys. That is a classic face. And then, oh yeah, great time here. <laughs> you can see my face there. <laughs> so, I know, right? So this is, yeah, after the big UNC win at UNC here uh, this year. And so, log me through that night. That was a fun one. You know, for me and Jack, our first win over there in Carolina. Um, and obviously, you know, one of the craziest games I've ever been a part of. That comeback in the second half. You know, the way Trey played, uh, Wendell hitting the buzzer beater. Just, you know, an amazing night that I'm gonna remember for a long, long time. And just, you know, how excited we were when we got back into the locker room. Um, and thinking about, you know, how many celebrations we've had after big time wins like that. Um, you know, that's why I went with that one. When was this one? This was this year at Michigan State, yeah. Michigan State, you know, at their place. Um, really, you know, loud, hostile arena, playing against a uh, really good team. Um, and just uh, the emotions that go into the game again. Um, just, I think I was yelling at their student section. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, man. Just one of those things that you really want to remember, you know, being in that moment. Yeah, these are some nice ones. So that, those are back to the beginning. Those are yours. It's crazy how time has flown, man. And, you know, there you go. It's, it's been uh, fun going down memory lane with you guys. It's been an amazing four years for the old man here. You know, really thankful uh, for all the support you've given us over the, in our time here, um, for the coaching staff, for all of our teammates that we've had. Um, it's truly, you know, been an uh, incredible experience. Um, and, you know, we're so grateful uh, for everything. And thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You wouldn't believe the buzz around here it looks like the Super Bowl around Cameron. You can't describe the Duke Carolina atmosphere because the air is heavier, it's hotter, um, it, it's tangible. You can actually feel it in there, and it's, it's unlike any other game. And I don't know, I almost don't know how to describe it in words, but once you go through it, it you'll never have another, another experience like it. For Javon Delorier, Justin Robinson, and Jack White, this moment has been years in the making. Three senior captains walking onto Coach K Court for the final time. And in what has become the norm, they are likely not alone. So for the crazies, the coaches, and indeed all of us, take time to soak it in. It's the final home game, senior night. Duke at Carolina, one final chance to turn a moment into a memory. Mike Robinson a three. Bakes it in! Justin Robinson sends this place bonkers with a three-pointer on his first attempt. Now pass to Jones, right side three. Count. Boy, what a terrific job of attacking. And Stanley! Stanley flying in at the other end to thunder it down for two. Baycott looking for Brooks, stolen by Robinson. Saves it along the sideline for Moore, ahead to carry to rock the rim. Jones on the drive to the left, back up top, Robinson a three. He's got another one. At the right elbow, won't go. Delorier fight for the rebound, has it. Triple team goes up, scores anyway. That's a senior making a play on his last game, just determined to get that rebound and do something with it. Goes back up, blocked by Robinson. And then Goldwire has it. An outlet pass for Jones, long hit ahead to Carey to dunk it down. Length and perfectly timed. How about Duke running again? Jones on the left to the corner. Stanley a three. Count it. Into the post and carry. Nice catch. Forced it up and in. And he was fouled. There's Jones for three. Bang. Spinning on Robinson. Fed Brooks blocked from behind. Robinson got a piece, and then Brooks could finish over Robinson. They fight for the rebound, Robinson has it. And a big time flex for the Crazies. What and here of, comes the crowd. What kind of impact has he had here in his final game in front of these fans? 
Robinson at three. And now Stanley buries a three from the corner. And the lead just keeps on growing right now for Duke. The final five seconds will melt away. And the Blue Devils win it on senior night. 89 to 76. We slept since I've been here. What a way to go out, man. What a way to go out. An emotional evening poured out onto the floor as Justin Robinson, Jack White, and Javin Delore embrace. And their team sails by the Tar Heels by 13. We're, not, we're trying to do bigger things right now. And so just keep supporting us over this next month. We're going we're gonna to try to do great things for y'all. We're going to try to put up another one of those. But for tonight, let's celebrate this win. Let's go burn some benches out there. What's up, Duke Blue Planet? Senior night Big with night. J. Rob himself. MVP night for him. <laughs> oh boy, J. Rob was out there making game-changing game plays, blocks, big threes. I mean, you were doing it all tonight. What's going play. on? What's going on out there tonight, J. Rob? Just trying to have fun. I mean, coach came up to us. He said, "Have fun playing hard together." And so that was my big, the big thing. Go out confident. Shoot everything that I was open. They played off me a lot, so I shot anytime I was open. <laughs> Jared had the first yeah. ever hexa double. What? <laughs> you had told me all night, I'm gonna shoot it when I'm open. Sonny across to you, they closed out. You did kind of a circus three. Place erupted. I mean, explain that feeling though. That was that was great. The crazies went off after that. It was electric. You could really tell, because you could tell the game was shifting. It was it was they were giving up at that point, and I think that was a big a big three. <laughs> And I kind of hit it like falling. <laughs> he closed out on me. I tried to draw a foul. And I fell, but then well, it went in. <laughs> I was just laying on the ground. I was like, "Oh wait, I gotta get back." <laughs> and for you guys that don't know, J. Rob, <clears throat> I've been practicing against him on the scout team. He has shots like that all the time, so I wasn't really surprised. But hey, that, that's what he does. Signing out on senior night with the man himself, J. Rob, and. Shout out J-Rob. We love J-Rob. J-Rob is the best person I've ever met, and he's amazing. See you guys ACC tournament. Shot to beat. The NCAA tournament will be played without fans in the stands. March Madness will go on for the players with essential staff and their families in the arenas. Who knows where this is going to go? It's, it's the, the first step. Uh, the, the, who knows what happens? I, I, I just don't know. Uh, the, there's certainly more to learn and more to do uh, as, as these events unfold, and, and maybe decisions will change going forward. I don't think they're going to change to have fans, but they may, may change toward cancellation. Who knows? Head coaches have gone back, and you see the teams heading back to the locker room. This, this astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve. Uh, at halftime with Adrian Wojnarowski, I suggested that uh, we would speak to him soon. I had no idea that it would be this soon. He has just tweeted within the past two minutes that the NBA is suspending the season.
We don't know entirely what that means for the future. The week has made a decision to end this year's Atlantic Coast Conference men's basketball tournament as of today. Well, we have a worldwide crisis going on and our country is being hit hard by the uh, coronavirus and, and we're find, trying to figure out responses to uh, make sure that we stop the spread of it as much as possible. And uh, to me, uh, this is the decision from the NCAA to cancel uh, the tournament. So many of the pro franchise, you know, sports franchises, the uh, organizations have canceled or suspended. Uh, and it's to me it's working together as a team right now our opponent is this virus and uh, it's up to everyone in our country to be on the same team and to have respect for one another it's a fluid situation so you're continuing to look at things that you can do better to make sure that we uh, we help in, in in whatever way we can to uh, help control this, uh, this virus. This could be more long-term than we even, uh, can we even imagine. Uh, in that regard, there's tremendous empathy for uh, the student athletes, especially the, the seniors, uh, first of all, on the, on the basketball teams because it's at the end of, uh, their, uh, end of our season, March Madness. You know, it's one of the really gifts that our country has that makes everyone feel better. And, and these are moments that uh, these kids work hard for and live for. Um, so great empathy for that. I feel bad, bad for them. I also feel extremely bad for the spring sports. And, you know, they're never even able to have a season. But, you know, look, I, I applaud our administrators for taking this type of action. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows how long? Uh, you, 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 it's paramount that we look out for the safety of our, of our student athletes, and, but also that we, I think Jay Bill has been, said it the right, the best way, you know, we're global citizens. You know, to me, nationally, we're on the same team. Let's figure out, forget about race, gender, nationality, or whatever. We are all on the same team. In, in fighting this, and uh, you know, we should work together to make sure that, that that happens. Well, every team in the United States, every basketball team, men's and women's team at all levels finished in a very abrupt way. Uh, in saying that, you should not have a, uh, a, a vision or a memory of the season abruptly. Uh, this was a, really a spectacular season. Uh, as uh, the head coach and our coaching staff, we all, we love this team. You know, we were supported by great fans and uh, this was as close a team as we've had for a long time. Not to, say, not to uh, disparage any other team, but we've had 40 teams here at, at Duke University. To me, this was as good a team, team, not necessarily the talent, or you know, that it was the best team, but it was as good a team together. These guys were together. Yeah, they, were, uh, they were a joy to coach. These guys uh, were friends on and off the court. They pulled for one another. And as a result, all of them contributed. You know, every one of our scholarship players started at least one game. Everybody contributed, uh, made big plays to produce 25 wins. You know, and you can look at, look at it and say, you know, we were that close to winning a few more. Well, we were that close to losing a few more. You know, the fact is, you know, this team won 25 games and beat outstanding opponents, Kansas, Michigan State, to win 15 games in our, in our conference is, uh, is incredible. Uh, remember, you know, this is a team that lost three lottery picks. And they came together and uh, wow. And we were playing, I think, our best basketball in that last week after not playing really good basketball for about a week and a half. And 
and we found a new guy in, in, in J-Rob, in Justin Robinson. So we kept finding new guys and great, great memories, especially the last week. The fact that it, it ended so abruptly, at least this group had a chance to look back at uh, two home games celebrating uh, uh, the seniors at Duke, uh, to celebrate our seniors and in beating NC State and North Carolina and heading into the ACC and NCAA tournaments on a real high. Uh, we did get a chance to celebrate as a, as a team the night before they had to leave and even had a video made up for one shining moment and we've been in constant touch uh, with our team and we want to thank you uh, for your support and in saying that please be safe you know this is going to be a long a long fight and in whatever way you can let's help our health providers all the people who are the real heroes right now and whatever we can do to help them whether it be mowing their lawn picking up their mail going for groceries helping in daycare or just saying great job you know we're proud of you we love you and we're behind you uh, remember, we're all in this together, and together we will win.